Hi, I'm Matthew Clausen at MedigapSeminars.org. Whether you're new to Medicare and are just researching your options, or you've had Medicare for a while but want to know if you can get a better value than the Medicare plan that you have, this video is for you. We're going to go over the 10 things that you need to know to find the best value out of your Medicare. Now, the first, of course, are the free government resources that are available to you. The two primary uh, pieces of resources are, are the Medicare and You guidebook, uh, which comes once a year. You can order it in hard copy online and have it uh, sent to you from Medicare.gov, or uh, as I prefer, you can download a copy and have it accessible on your, uh, on your computer. And this has all the, the features, the benefits of Medicare, and the phone numbers, the contact information that you need. Now, in addition to that, an often most neglected publication is the Choosing a Medigap Policy. Now, this is specific to Medicare supplements and has more information on Medicare supplements than the Medicare and You Guidebook. It also shows you how to compare the supplements and how to shop for a supplement. Now, in addition to that, there is our own website. You can go to medigapseminars.org and up on the top menu under the learning zone come down to the index and what you'll find is we have indexed uh, just the, both the resources that are available to you as well as the many articles and videos that we've already published uh, for example if you want to download a copy of the Medicare and You guidebook you can do that uh, the same with the choosing a Medigap policy uh, you have direct access to medicare.gov so it's also a great resource for you and it's where you can order those two guides and of course if you're new to Medicare you'll need to go to the, Medi the Social Security website because you actually sign up for Medicare through Social Security. The Social Security website also has a number of very useful calculators and tools if you're trying to figure out whether you should take your Social Security payments now or put them off to later. Now one of the other things we put here uh, is the, the table of Medigap policies. And this is found in both the uh, publications that we would already mentioned. But this table is just a quick reference. You can easily see the Medicare supplements that you have available to you. They're named by letter, and they're, uh, the benefits and how much are covered. Next is, of course, understanding the difference between a standardized and a regulated plan. Now, this is very important. Your Medicare supplement plans are standardized. The supplements actually simply supplement your original Medicare. Your primary insurance is original Medicare as is described in the Medicare and You guidebook. The supplement is there so that your out-of-pocket expenses are limited to anywhere from zero to just a, a couple hundred dollars a year. Now being standardized means that they are identical from one company to another. Uh, Medicare has, has standardized the features of each plan so that if you, for example, want a plan F or a plan G, it doesn't matter what company you purchase the uh, coverage from, they are identical from one company to the other. And I should stress that is identical in features and benefits, but not necessarily in price. Medicare supplements, for example, are so standardized that you don't even have to worry if your doctor accepts that particular insurance coverage they only have to accept Medicare because your doctor bills Medicare, Medicare pays their portion, and then they send off the remaining to your supplement company to be covered. The doctor never even bills your supplement company. Your Medicare Advantage plans are not standardized, but they are regulated. They're regulated to provide a certain minimum level of coverage for you. Now, that regulated means they provide that minimum, but they are not identical from one company to the other or one plan to the other. They typically come as HMOs or PPOs, and uh, all the different features and benefits can change each and every year, uh, which is why you have the open season, also known as the annual election period that goes from October 15th to uh, December 7th each and every year. The reason that exists is for these Medicare Advantage plans and for your prescription drug plans because they can and will change every year. They'll change uh, what doctors can use them. They change the, uh, the benefits that are available to you, the cost structures, all of that. And each and every year, you get to look at a plan and the changes they're going to have for the coming year and decide whether you want to keep it or try to get a new one. Right? So they're not standardized, but they are regulated. Now, number three 
is that when you shop plans, you want to shop both the company, the plan, and the price. And here's why. When you look at Medicare supplement plans, for example, a company can have a Medicare supplement plan, but they don't necessarily have all the plans available to them. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you call up a, an insurance company and uh, you ask them, you know, uh, what's the best supplement for me? And you happen to live in a state where Plan G is your best value, but they don't offer it. And that's, that's actually quite common. They might offer a Plan F and a Plan N, but not your Plan G. Well, they're not going to tell you about it, and they don't have to tell you about it. It's up to you to shop for the best plan. So don't assume that just because an insurance company offers one Medicare supplement that they're going to offer all of them. Next, of course, is that even, even though they may offer different plans and different companies' plans are the, exactly the same, the price is not. And this is, in, again, both in uh, the Medicare and You guidebook as well as the Choosing a Medicap Policy, it is stressed that different insurance companies may charge different premiums for the exact same policy. So you can have a Plan G or a Plan F or a Plan N from one company and have it priced completely different at another company. The benefits are the same, the features are the same, but the price is different. So it's up to you to shop for the best price, even after you've found which plan that you want. Now, the price is not always subtle differences. Sometimes they are. They're just pennies from one company to another or dollars, and in which case you want to uh, work with the company that you're most comfortable with. But we work from coast to coast. We do most of the states out there, and we'll find that often the best price plan is half the cost of the most expensive plan that's available to you. So we see it all the time when we're talking to people, and they might be paying $180, $200 a month for a plan that can cost them $90 or $100 a month from a different insurance company. And all they have to do is, is, is change companies, keep the exact same plan. So it's important to shop both the company and, of course, shop the price. And don't assume uh, that don't assume that just because it's a plan that, that you're interested in that all the companies are going to offer the same price. Now, number four on our list is if you're going to shop Medicare supplements or Medigap plans, you should at least shop these four plans. It's a Plan F, Plan G, Plan N, and a Plan FHD. Understand their features and their prices. Now, we work with from coast to coast, and we'll find that typically one of these plans are going to be the best plan for you as far as value. Now, we mentioned that Medicare supplements are standardized, so they don't change every year. Uh, but they will change by an act of Congress, and there was a law passed in 2015 that's going to uh, discontinue Plan F, for example, as of 2019. We're discouraging people from uh, getting into that because... Although if you have a Plan F, you'll be able to keep it, there will be no new younger people entering the plan, no new 65-year-olds. So everybody in the Plan F um, is going to get older, require greater medical services, and that will make the cost go up. Uh, so it's not necessarily the best value. If, for example, um, something happens, like you have a heart attack or stroke or cancer, you may not be able to change plans. You can get stuck in a, in a plan that's quite expensive. Um, but shop the plans and shop at least these four. Now, next on the list, and also important, number five, know your state laws. Now, state laws do impact both the prices and the value of different plans. For example, there are eight states we call mom states. Mom is Medicare override measure. These eight states have adopted a, a ruling that adjusts how Medicare can do its job, how, how Medicare can bill. It actually, uh, for the Medicare override measure, prevents uh, any doctor from charging what's called Part B excess charges. Well, Plans F and G, for example, both offer coverage or an insurance against Part B excess charges. But if you're in a state where that's forbidden, then you're paying for insurance that you don't need. Another eight states are community rated. What's community rated mean? Well, it means that the price of your policy is not adjusted by your age. Everybody who's in a Plan G is going to pay the same price regardless of age. Everybody in a Plan N, the same price regardless of age. 
And there it's more important, of course, to find the right plan that, uh, that is for you than to shop for the price. Uh, but you'll also find that uh, community-rated plans uh, tend to be more expensive for people who are uh, under 75 and 80 and, and less expensive for those over 80. There are also four different states that are issue-aged states. And the issue age means, the, again, the price cannot change as you get older, but it's stuck from the, the, the age that you are when you purchase or when they issue the plan. So if you purchase a plan at 65, uh, the plan can go up in price due to inflation, but not just because the next year you get uh, to be 70 or the year after that. There are several states where uh, there are other rulings that, that have really just altered the value of different plans. And of course, there are three states that do their own thing and make everything that, that we're looking at here irre irrelevant as far as Medicare supplements are concerned. And that's Wisconsin, um, Minnesota, and Massachusetts. Uh, they have their own plans completely. And if you are a resident of one of those states, you really want to get online to your insurance regulator, your, the insurance department for your state. And online, they've got uh, the plans that are available to you and the prices. Now, number six is understanding that if you have your Medicare supplement plan, you have your full control, and I should say full freedom in your plan. Now, remember, in a Medicare supplement, there are no changes, so you don't need to have an annual election period, an AEP, and you don't have to um, worry about what your plan is going to look like in the next year. It's not going to change, and it cannot be canceled unless you stop paying your premium. Uh, you don't have to worry about... Uh, um, if somebody has raised the price that you have to stay with the plan because uh, a lot of times people get you know there's a notice that uh, in April your price is going up 10 percent well they have to give you a 45 day notice the insurance company does of a, of a plan price change to give you time to shop so that you can look around to see if there's a better price plan and again since they're all the same you can shop at any time any time of year to find a better price now, you can go to any doctor, any hospital. You're not limited to a network. You don't have to worry about referrals. So with a Medicare supplement plan, one of the biggest differences that it has with, uh, from a Medicare Advantage is that you have more control and you have more freedom. Now, number seven is understanding that there are two different markets for your Medicare supplement plans. What do we mean by that? I mean that the company that offers the best value when you're 65 or 67 and you're new to Medicare is going to be different on most occasions than the company that offers the best value when you're over 70. Now, why is that? Well, when you're new to Medicare, you have a guarantee issue. Anyone can get any plan that they want at the best price available. And that's typically uh, from 65 to 67 as people are new to their Part B. Some are a little older, but the average is 65, 67, 68 years old. And your health history is not a concern. Well, some insurance companies say, you know what, we want to get that market and build our business there because we know that as people get older and they're comfortable with their plans, they won't shop them. Now, because they are aggressively marketing and pricing towards that guarantee issue regardless of health, they tend to have a pool of seniors that have um, a less healthy history and are requiring more medical expenses. As a result, the prices tend to rise more or at a faster rate than you know, other plans. The second group, of course, are those who say I don't, they don't price theirs, they, they intentionally overprice theirs at 65, 67, 68 years old. They want to avoid people new to Medicare purchasing it. And instead, they focus on the over 70 market. Now, these are insurance companies that have uh, at over 70, and you've, you've already had Medicare. So you're going to have to go through Medicare underwriting to get the policy. It's a, a series of health questions to find out if you have cancer, heart attack, stroke, and major issues. For those that are healthier, you'll find that these to be a much better priced product than they would have been when they were 65 or 66, etc. So that, those, that company uh, intentionally overprices when you're uh, going into a guarantee issue period so they can control and get only a healthier pool of seniors. And they're a company that have a lower price, typically over 70, and uh, less price increases as time goes on. 
So that means that once you're in your Medicare supplement policy, you, you know, don't sit and think, well, I've got the best value and it'll be the best value for the rest of my life. That, that's just simply not the case. You want to be able to shop your plan, cost nothing, take a look. And at least if you've had the Medicare for four or five years or if it's the first Medicare policy you had, at least shop it every three or four years to find out if you can uh, uh, save. And of course, if, if you end up with a price increase that's uh, nine, ten percent or more, definitely take a look because you'll want to be able to save money at that point too. Number eight is Medicare is governed by Social Security law. Now this is important, but it's really specific to snowbirds or people that spend a lot of time in two different states uh, during the year. When you sign up for Medicare in your application, you're supposed to use your home state. Your home state is defined as the state where you vote and you pay taxes. And it's supposed to be the same state that you are also have uh, signed up for Social Security and, and or are accepting your Social Security income payments. If they are different, it opens you up to a liability where you could lose your plan when you need it the most. So when you look for and shop for a Medicare supplement plan, you use your home state, and that should be the same state that you're, uh, you have as your home state for Social Security. Number nine, an advisor or salesman. And this too is important. There's a big difference between an insurance agent and an insurance broker. Can you do Medicare alone? Sure, it's a, you can do it as a do-it-yourself, although it's not necessarily an easy thing to, uh, to get to know. But what's also important to know is that good advice doesn't cost you anything. You don't pay for people like us. But it is important for you to understand when you're being sold something or when you're being uh, given advice. An insurance agent is an employee of an insurance company. And talking to them is going to be the same as calling up the insurance company. Uh, they're not going to offer all the plans that are available to you. And they can only represent the insurance company's best interest. They're not allowed to represent yours. An insurance broker should have access to all the plans from all the major carriers that are available so that when you talk to them, you can see immediately what the prices are and the features of each and every plan of all your options so that you can make an informed decision. Number 10, last but not least, knowledge is power. When you look at the Choosing a Medigap Policy Guide, it has a very simple steps for you to follow. You decide first, of course, which plan fits your needs. Identify the insurers that offer that plan. And then you shop price. And once you've found the best price, the best plan, best call it, the best policy, you're set. A uh, simple process, but the, the thing here is having the knowledge to do it is nothing if you don't follow the directions and, and follow the process. Lastly, as a bonus, how to evaluate which is your best when you're going to compare a Medicare supplement, an original Medicare, to a Medicare Advantage plan, or even comparing between Medicare supplements, is to know what we call your MOOP. Your MOOP is your maximum annual out-of-pocket risk. When you look at some Medicare supplement plans, bring your maximum out-of-pocket annual risk to zero, some to just the Part B deductible, which is $166, and some slightly more than that. When you look at a Medicare Advantage plan, look at your maximum out-of-pocket risk. It's often between $6,700 and $10,000 a year. But that's how you compare which has more coverage, is how much are you financially at risk for if you need it when you're in the hospital. We hope you found this information useful. Of course, if we can help in any other way, give us a call at 1-800-847-9680 or please visit the website, browse through the other resources and the articles, the videos that we have available to you. Uh, we are insurance brokers. We deal with all the plans. Uh, we, have, we can show you all the prices for everything that's available to you and talk about the different features of uh, pros and cons of the different choices that you have based on our experience as well. So thank you very much for this, watching the video. I'm Matthew Clausen at MediGapSeminars.org. We'll see you next time.